We've got Maryland in the gold, Alcorn State in the purple. Cold day outside the Xfinity Center in the month of December now, and we are underway. <laughs> that was a tough toss right there. <laughs> Already a late shot clock to start here for Alcorn State. Braves making their move now, looking underneath. It's oh. swatted away by Reese. We'll see that tandem. Benet got right down in there, and now Alcorn State can apply a little bit of pressure 2-2-1 two, two, as well. Corner three is good from Selton Miguel. In the fast break, without the basketball. Drew Reese backing in, decided size advantage this day for Maryland. You see it in action there between Reese and Queen. But I really love this kind of connectivity between the Maryland's ability to switch one through five because of the nimble-footedness of the freshman. And then you can get that from Juju Reese as well. Rami Rice in the run out, slows it down. Rice around the screen from Reese, and Rice is good. Very nicely executed. Attention to detail on the defensive end. But these big blocks, that's the first one, and probably not the last. It has been a dynamic duo for Maryland defensively and on the offensive end as well. He said prior to the game, he said they're quick and low to the ground. So we've got to really make sure we're where we're supposed to be defensively. For their early season success, whereas last year, they were turning it over regularly. Right, and that's something that Kevin Willard and his staff have cleaned up during the offseason. Anthony Cornelius knocks it down for Alcorn State. A four point lead, Queen with the find. Nice run baseline from Deshaun Harris. But that's the vision you were talking about Absolutely. earlier. Time to the weak side, and you'd love to see the intentionality and playmaking ability of the fresh. And you have to take a baby hooker, it's going to get sent back. So that was a smart choice. Queen baseline, nice move. There's the footwork and the acumen you were talking about. Sometimes, even if it doesn't go in, you understand the flow and the rhythm of the shots that you can get. Not afraid to keep going, can't get it from outside, he'll take it inside and restore the lead for the Terps. And smooth at the rim for that finish and then the nice crossover, the one-two step by Rodney Rice. Now just to be too late, but that was a moon ball way up and over the outstretched hands of Reese trying to contest that one. Queen from the free throw line, knocks it down. And they're right there on the pass, meeting shooters with the stick arm. Rodney Rice finally drills it from three. Shot Closing clock it down. down to three again. From distance here, gains Wyatt, no good. I don't know if we've had a single possession since the last media timeout where it hasn't gotten a single yeah. digits for Alcorn State. Just smothering defense. Now the run out for Young, and the Terps are on a run. Up by nine. Outside, Reese outside to Rice, and then in transition. Another late shot clock, another contested look, another miss for Alcorn State. Solid box out down inside by Rodney Rice, too. Three minutes scoreless for the Braves. From the baseline, Rice connecting. He was able to shed the mask, but picked up another facial injury uh. in practice this week. Oh, man. Good ball movement here for Maryland. From the corner, it's good. Jacoby Gillespie showing you what he can do from outside. I like that balance that Maryland has on the offensive end, headed into Big Ten play soon. Reese swats it away after Queen was chasing Cornelius all around. Miguel the run out, Gillespie back to Rice. Miguel in the corner for three, it's good. Everything about that for the Terps. 17 point lead for Maryland that really snowballed quickly. It's all happened over the last four minutes, a 19-2 run. Gapari from three, he knocks it down. The shooting is contagious right now for the Terps. Yeah, the floodgates are open from range for Maryland right now. They have gotten into their flow and rhythm and it has happened because of their defense. Athleticism there from Gapari keeps it in play. Deshaun Harris, Smith, Selton, Miguel off glass. Started her career here at Maryland with Brenda Freeze and finished it at LSU, winning a title there. Move for him. He can get that shot down. And, you know, he's not just a back to the basket player, he's trying to show that. Pari continues <laughs> to showcase the athleticism. Yeah. Hamilton for three, no good. A seat like that. Well, you think you have it free and easy. No, you do not. Kapari. Low percentage shot. So they're trying to cut down, rather take a few extra shots. And we've seen it so far today. Right. And David Cox told us that. They get one to drop for Alcorn State, but those two. 9 0 run for the Braves after that last time out. Selton Miguel pulls up. He gets a very friendly roll. We are in the holiday season here. They seem to be on their way again. Eric Queen, a nice find in the corner. Miguel drives baseline. Queen puts it back, gets the roll. It wasn't clean, but it got through. Hey, listen, 
He was up there, so we'll give it to him. But I want to see him go up there and crush it down on somebody's neck, too. And that possession, another <laughs> illustration. Just, just the pass to the corner initially to find Miguel, and then the ability to finish yeah. on the putback. Absolutely. But against that zone, that's what they have to do. Gillespie up top, and Jay Young throws it down. Pulled some screws out of the rim on this lob in transition. Maryland has been able to get their running game. And Jay Young has some kangaroos. He was up there really quick and swiftly off those ten toes. Swat at the other end from Miguel. He's listed at 6'2", Jay Young. That was fun to watch. Jalik Gaines Y has been held in check after a really good start. And the, I don't know if it was a pass shot, whatever that was, it worked out in the end for Listenby throwing it down. Because Juju Reese rotated over there and opened up that backside. Selton Miguel continues to lead the way now with 14 for Maryland. On the board by Alcorn State. It looked really good. Miguel squared his body up. Contest came late. Deep three from Cornelius knocks it down. He's not afraid to put that baby hook up there. He's showing more confidence with each passing game. Yeah, they're setting him up nicely on the ball side block. Put back from Foreman. Closest since it was 36-21. 10-0 run now for Alcorn State. Down low for Reese, goes up strong. Reese puts this run to bed. Yeah, very nicely executed. 12 points, 11 boards now for Juju Reese. So another double-double for the Terps senior. One caught nothing but net, but oh. wrong way. Stop being on the floor for the Terps. Queen contesting is swatted by Gapari. Out to Gillespie, and Gillespie will jam it down. <laughs> Terps back up by 20. It's three of six from beyond the arc, but at the other end, this from No, and then pay it off on the other side. Tear it off. Inter little 14, a little 1-4 flat set on the out of bounds under. Queen finds an alleyway to the hoop and puts it down 14 points now. Well, the last uh, DMV Philly matchup was Terps Villanova. There you go. You get to go and Terps came out on top with that one. So Ravens fans tuning in, good news for you and good news for Malachi Palmer burying this one from the corner. Extra unselfish passes being made like that. Swing it to the corner. Swatted away by Gapari. Look how high he got to meet that ball. Long outlet for Gillespie. Weak side, sometimes you have to trust your speed and it's different for everyone. But you got to be at the basket line. Oh, no look on that one from Derek Wade to Gapari. He's got 18 now. 24-point lead for Maryland. Now he swats that one down. It's a 2-on-0, Miguel and Gapari. It's a 4 on Gapari. will throw it down. Largest lead of the day. Maryland off and running in transition. Oh, go ahead and send it over. It's one steal, Parker should a pear tree. He is stuffing <laughs> it up today. Holiday season time in December. Yeah. He is obliging. Sean Harris Smith now a three on one. He takes it himself and he buries it. That was the proper play. Gapari wants a long outlet. He's already at this other end of the court. Sean Harris Smith gives it up to Jay Young. Jay Young knocks it down. Maryland 10 of 21 from three. Their queen, Juju Reese, have taken a seat. Seems like their days would be done. So queen 20 points, nine boards, four assists, a couple of seals, a couple of blocks, and Juju. Damn. And find ways to score, and Gapari another rejection. Man. He's got a smile on his face doing it as well. Still battling down low with Binet. <laughs> still working. Right. Or a little dump down passes. Some no look. Yeah. The Having no fun look. with it. Yeah, why not? Like, I love that. So I'm going to see more of that as Big Ten competition begins here next week. 96-58 the final over Alcorn State. Derek Queen led the way with 20 points, and the Terps have another victory here in College Park.